Drew Darvish making his 19th start. He's two and four. The 5.01 ERA, the highest among qualifying pitchers in the National League. 97 innings, 81 hits. Swing and a miss. Reynolds strikes out, and that's out number two. Darvish gets his first strikeout of the day, and the pitch on the way. Marte swings and misses. A breaking ball in the dirt. Caratini throws to Rizzo, and that's that. Two to three on the official put out at first. A one two three first inning for Darvish Chris Archer three and six record of 549 ERA making his 16th start 88 punch outs and 78 and two thirds innings. Wow and that's the good slider three pitch strikeout of Baez very encouraging first handful pitches from Chris Archer. Here comes the three two to Bell from Darvish and Bell swings and misses beautiful change up that ball had some late downward. Movement and it strikes out Josh Bell. Three consecutive strikeouts for Darvish. Moran swings and misses. Hugh Darvish with two perfect innings with four strikeouts. Archer struck out 252 batters in 2015. That was second only to Chris Sale that year. He struck out 274 to lead the league. And he strikes out Rizzo after falling behind 3 0. Comes back to get him. Well, there's the 1 2. Swing and a miss. He threw it right by him, struck him out. Both pitchers are having their way. First two innings. Yeah, three strikeouts for Archer, four for Darvish. Here's the 2 1 pitch on the way to Stallings. And he hits a line drive toward right field. Coming in, Hayward makes a sliding catch. Beautiful play by Jason Hayward. A sinking, slicing liner into right. Jay came in. He hit the deck kind of awkwardly but he made the catch a brilliant play and that was anything but routine it's plays like that that allow you to win multiple gold gloves which Jason Hayward has done two and two on Archer swing and a miss the guard is sharp here early nothing nothing in the third Gabe Zappin was watching the Reds play team Italy. One two right there strike three call elevated slider from Archer and that is the fourth Archer ready again another 0 2 a swing and a miss struck him out with a slider Chris Archer with five strikeouts and he's retired the side in order in the first three innings here comes the one two delivery swing and a miss strike three one away off the nice breaking ball from Darvish strikeout number six Darvish has retired ten in a row here in this scoreless game we'll bring up Brian Reynolds he got him seven strikeouts for Darvish Cubs and Pirates are scoreless Cubs still searching for their first hit of the game it'll bring up Javier Baez playing nearly directly up the middle and Baez grounds one through the hole on the right side for the first Cub hit of the game. He's on first base. It's the first hit of the game, period. One away here in the fifth. Melky Cabrera at the plate. Over the first. There's a Pirates first hit. Cabrera lines in the center. Carried his bat about 85 feet down the line as well. He didn't want to let it go. It's the U Darvish Chris Archer show so far. One base runner against Darvish, two against Archer. And he registers yet another strikeout. And again on the high slider. Here's the 0 2 a swing and a miss he dispatches Garcia eight strikeouts for Archer to gone in the fifth and now more the number eight hitter coming up one two pitch he struck him out Chris Archer strikes out the side he has fanned nine Cubs through the first five innings to the sixth we go nothing nothing still tied bottom seven. Three, four, five, starting with Chris Bryant. Comes back 2 2. Bryant hits one in the air to right, slicing toward right. Cabrera battling the sun, coming over near the sidewall, and that ball is going to be foul. He lost that ball in the sun. That ball hit the sidewall on the way down. Cabrera had no idea where the ball was. So Bryant gets another chance. He finished the first half on quite a roll and he gets the second half off to a very good start with home run number 18 and a little bit of a mistake with the breaking ball this time from Archer after the no play in right field by Cabrera life for Bryant and he delivers the bags are now loaded with nobody out and the Cubs Zach right now have a chance to break this game wide open Wide shot to Cabrera in right. Rizzo on his way to the plate. Safe. 
Sack fly for Garcia. It's two nothing. And now it's three and one. And listen to these fans. They're standing. The three one. Bodie takes high ball four. It forces in a run. Cubs lead three to nothing. The tying run will come up in the person of Starling Marte. And he cracks one deep to left. Marte Parte! Look at this ball! Holy moly! It's a three run bomb, and we're tied in the eighth inning. Starling Marte hits his 13th. Can you believe the battle in Buckos? 3 3 at Wrigley. Now the wildness of Crick has put the potential tie breaking run in scoring position as Jason Hayward is going to be the Cubs batter with a chance to drive in the go ahead run. So first and second, two outs in a tie game, and Hayward with a base hit. Bryant's going to try to score. The throw by Rouse to the plate. Many time. Cubs lead 4 to 3. A bouncer to third, charged by Bodie. Off balance throw. Safe off the bag. This may have been on first. That was a yeah. deliberate call by Nick Lynch. Yeah, that was Nick. I, Nick Nick just said, I got to call something here. I don't know, and I don't blame him. And that's the beauty of replay from the umpire's point of view. It'll this be challenged. A crucial call, and for sure you're going to challenge it. And here's the call. Cubs win. Cubs win. One, two, three, ninth. And the Cubs beat the Pirates four to three.